The Webb telescope has detected water in the protoplanetary disk around the young star. Water is an essential component of life, at least as we know it. Scientists have been debating for years how it got to Earth and whether it also occurs on distant planets. A little more light has been shed by researchers who, using the Webb telescope, detected water vapor in the inner part of the protoplanetary disk around the young star PDS-70. Observations show that water can be found where planets like Earth are formed. The mid-infrared MIRI, mid-infrared instrument, aboard the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, has detected water vapor in the inner part of the protoplanetary disk. Just 160 million kilometers from its host star. This is the region where rocky planets like Earth can form. After all, the Earth orbits the Sun at a slightly shorter distance. The discovery was made in the PDS-70 system, which is 370 light-years away. In this system, researchers recently found two planets that most likely share the same orbit. We have detected water elsewhere in the universe, but never so close to the star around which planets are forming. Only the James Webb Space Telescope allowed us to observe such detailed observations, says Julia Perotti, the lead author of the paper, who works at the Max Planck Institute in Heidelberg, Germany. This finding is extremely exciting because it points to a region where rocky Earth-like planets tend to form, adds Thomas Henning, Miri principal investigator and co-author of the paper. The paper on this topic was published in the journal Nature. PDS-70 is a star cooler than our Sun. Scientists estimate that it was formed only 5.4 million years ago. We also know that there are at least two planets in this system. PDS-70b and PDS-70c. They are gas giants like Jupiter. Although it is a relatively young star, protoplanetary disks do not last surprisingly long by cosmic standards. Over time, the gas and dust content of planet-forming disks decreases. Either the star's radiation and the winds it emits blow away such material, or the dust clumps into larger objects that eventually form planets. Since previous studies had not detected water in the central regions of similar disks, 
Astronomers suspected that it might not survive the harsh stellar radiation. This system has two protoplanetary disks. There is a gap of about 8 billion kilometers between them. It was there that two gas giants were spotted. However, in the inner disk, astronomers have not detected any planets. However, they can see the raw materials necessary to build rocky worlds. The detection of water vapor suggests that if rocky planets form there, water will be available to them from the start. We found a large amount of small grains of dust and water vapor in the observed system. It's a very interesting place to conduct research, argues co-author Renz Waters from Radboud University in the Netherlands. Scientists wonder where the water observed in this system comes from. Two scenarios are considered. The first possibility is trivial. Experts believe that H2O can be formed in space by simply combining hydrogen and oxygen atoms. All you need is the right conditions. The second option assumes that ice-covered dust particles move from the cool regions of the outer disk towards the warmer regions of the inner disk, where the water ice sublimates and turns to vapor. Such a transport system would be surprising because the dust would have to cross a large gap carved by two gaseous planets. How water can survive so close to a star remains a mystery. Ultraviolet light should break water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Most likely, particles surrounding it, such as dust grains, act as a protective shield, the researchers suggest.